In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, navigation buttons or sometimes icons and dashboard action to improve the user interactivity with your dashboards. And for this case, I've created three dashboards. Uh, that is uh, a tab called summary, another one called profitability, and another one called sales. And therefore, in this case, we're going to see how we can be able to link uh, these three dashboards together through a central page, which we're going to call home page, to improve the user interactivity with this dashboard. And to do that, first of all, let me create a new dashboard. So I'm going to go to the dashboard tab and I'm going to rename it uh, home page. Let me change the size of this particular dashboard tab to a width of around 800 by 600. And let me add a vertical layout so that I can be able to add a border around this particular dashboard. And now my dashboard is ready. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the navigation buttons. And to do that, because I need to float them on top of this particular home page, I'm going to change this one to floating. And I'm going to drag the first navigation object to the view. And I can resize it as I need it to be. And I'm going to go to edit so that I can change the details of this particular navigation button. So I'm going to go to edit button. And for this case, I need this particular navigation button to navigate to uh, the summary uh, dashboard. That is the first dashboard. And for this case, I will be using a text button. However, in such cases, or rather in other cases, you can also be able to use an image button. And for this case, I need the title of this particular navigation button to be called a same, or rather the same as the, uh, the dashboard I'm targeting. So I'm going to call it summary. So let me change the title to summary. I can also change the font as well as add a boulder in the background. So let me change the background to something uh, a different color. And you can also add a tooltip. Basically tooltips are the details which are going to appear when a user places a cars on top of this navigation button and click OK. And now I've created my first navigation button. I can also repeat the same process to create the rest of navigation buttons linking to the rest of dashboards. However, sometimes you can also do the shortcut by simply copy pasting uh, an original navigation button. So for this case, I'm going to copy paste this particular navigation button and simply edit it. So to do that, I'm going to click on it, go to the drop down menu and select copy dashboard item. And I'm going to paste it by simply pressing control plus V on my keyboard. And I can position it uh, where I feel is appropriate within my view. Next, I'm going to edit this particular dashboard. And for this case, I'm going to edit this one to navigate to uh, the sales dashboard. I'm also going to edit the title to be sales and change the color to something different like uh, blue and click OK. Next, I'm going to paste another navigation button by simply going to control V on the keyboard. And I'm going to position it where I need it to be. And again, I'm going to edit this particular button. And for this case, I need this one to navigate to the profitability. I'll also change the title to profitability. And of course, the color to something different, let's say purple, and click OK. I can also give my home page a title. Let me drag text to the view, and I'm going to call it uh, home page. Let me change this one to uh, increase the size of the font, make it bold and dark and position it somewhere within my view at the top, of course. And now you're going to see when we change this one to presentation mode, 
for me to be able to access the various uh, dashboards, I don't need to uh, to go down and to look for the particular dashboard I need to interact with, but rather I can simply click on this navigation button, which will take me to that particular dashboard. For example, for me to access the summary dashboard, I'm simply going to click on navigation button summary, which will take me to the summary dashboard. And the same happens when I click on sales, which takes me to the sales dashboard, and the same for profitability, which will take me uh, to the profitability dashboard. However, something is missing, that is we do not have a navigation button to take us back to the home page. And to do that, what I've done, I've gone to a website called a Flat Icon. So you can go to the search bar and search for this site called Flat Icon. And you can type uh, for Home button, wherever you're going to see the various Home buttons that you can use. For this case, I've downloaded this particular icon, which you're going to see how we can integrate it uh, within our dashboard. And I've saved this particular dashboard to the desktop. And therefore, let me go back to the to the dashboard and see how we can incorporate this particular icon with our dashboard. And simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this particular icon to each and every uh, dashboard in this particular workbook. And to do that, I'm going to drag again navigation button to the view. And I'm going to go to edit button. However, for this case, I'm going to change the button style to an image button. And from here, I can select the image that I need to use uh, for this particular navigation button. So for this case, I'm going to choose the image which I've downloaded and it's called OM. And I need this particular uh, navigation button to navigate to the OM page. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, here is my OM image uh, navigation button. Let me minimize it and place it somewhere on the top left side of my view. And because I need to add this particular navigation button to every dashboard here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy it and I'll go for each dashboard, I'm going to paste it there. So I paste it to this particular dashboard and again, I'm going to paste to this particular dashboard and resize it. And now you're going to see when we go back to our home page, let me bring this home page to the first or rather to be the first tab. And I'm going to change this one to the presentation mode. And now from this home page, I can easily access the various dashboard by simply clicking on these navigation buttons. For example, I can click on summary to access the summary dashboard. And from this dashboard, I can also click on this home page button to access the home page, whereby I can also be able to interact with other dashboards like sales, go back to home page, go back to profitability, go back to home page, and be able to choose the direction uh, in which I need to take as a user. And basically by doing that, or rather by using the navigation buttons, or sometimes you can use the dashboard actions to bring interactivity between the different dashboard tabs, and by doing so, you're going to create dashboards which are more user-friendly. And basically, that's how you can use navigation buttons to add interactivity within your dashboards. Thanks, everyone.